What's up YouTube, this is Coding for Noobs, and today we'll be doing tutorial number 7, the for loop. So tutorial 7 for loop. Alright, so for the for loop, uh, basically it's a automatic counted loop, I guess I would describe it as. And before we start this tutorial, I'm just going to set up this application and say open. So, uh, sorry, keep console open, console uh, read key and uh, a local variable declaration. So local variable declaration. Same as the while loop, we'll be using this uh, for loop for two tutorials, and then we'll be going to the if statements and switch case statements. Um, anyways, with the for loop, it's a little bit different. So I'm just going to set up the syntax down here, but it's for data type, int, and then a variable name, i equals, so then we send it a value, sorry, for i, for int i equals 0, well i is less than 10, i plus plus, we're going to loop and execute the code. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to console out right line, i. And we're going to run it, and as you can see, it starts at 0 and goes all the way to 9. Because anything after 9, 10 is not less than 10, it's equal to. And if it goes any higher, it'll be 11, which is greater to 10. So right away when it gets to 10, it actually exits out of this loop and waits for you to enter in any key. So the way we're going to work with this tutorial is we're going to create a integer and we're going to prompt the user for the integer and we're going to count backwards to zero from that integer. So for our local variable, variable declaration we're going to declare int int input equals zero and then we're going to do console dot right line please enter a number to count backwards from. And then we're going to use the parse statement, or the parse function, sorry, it's not a statement, int input equals int 32 dot parse console dot read line. And I explained the parse function a few times now, but basically it's going to read the string and convert it into an integer format. Now, we don't need this loop anymore, so I'm just going to erase it. And I'm going to put a little bit of comment here. So prompt user for the uh, number to count backwards from. Now what we have to do is we have to structure the loop so it starts at whatever number they enter. And it counts from, say they enter 10, it goes 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Zero. So the way we're going to do this is for int i equals int input. So right away we're assigning a integer with the name i with the value of whatever they entered. So if they enter in a 10, i will be equal to 10. Then we're going to do while i is greater than or equal to zero, we're going to continue with the code. And then we're going to do i minus minus. Now this is kind of like i plus plus, except it does the exact opposite. So instead of adding one, it takes away one. And now we're going to create our blocker code inside the curly brackets. And as I said before, all we're going to do is count backwards. So we're going to do console.writeline i. So output the current number. And what we do in this loop is i equals the number input from the user um, while i is 0 or i is equal to 0 continue with the code each loop i equals i minus 1 so that's what that loop does so now when we run the code it'll ask us the number to count backwards from. So if I enter in uh, 60, it'll go all the way from 60 to 0. 
Now, yeah, okay, it worked. So we entered it in the 60. That's not two numbers. So it goes 60, 59, 58, 57, 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, all the way down to, 60, or to zero, sorry, which is right here. So that's basically the for loop. There's not much else I can teach you yet until we get into some more advanced code. This is just the structure of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you learned a little bit. Uh, please subscribe, rate, and comment.